another ride along with goggles and uh, so we've got the uh, here we got the load king um, I guess it's the load king prestige uh, drop deck it says prestige under there somewhere oh renown right that's it renown right so load king yeah little history on them it's a Canadian outfit that's been around for quite a while and uh, apparently they're their trailers are well liked by the people that use them so let's see how we like them <laughs> not that we're going to be able to compare it to real life but uh nice trailer triple axle 53 foot and um we're up in lillowit bc in the pro mods canada map and uh we're headed down to princeton bc so i thought yeah canadian trailer let's give uh, the canadian map a, another shot and this trip should take us down the uh, that new section that they put in that new bit of map that we got going here. So uh, in the Pro Mods Canada update, so let's uh, hop in here and get going. Another happy thing here is we've got the uh, sound thing figured out. It was um, a fix for this XBS. Oh, that all breaks on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it was a fix that some guy had put up on Steam that was supposed to, I don't know what it was supposed to fix, if anything was broken. But this is the Hateru, or hate well, I don't know, Hater Shaker. So, I don't know that it needed that fix. That fix may have been for the XBS uh, old mod, so it seemed when the game went to 144, all of a sudden the interior sounded terrible. Look at these forks hanging out like that. Wow, you wouldn't want to run into that. Ah, it's so dangerous. <laughs> Whoever parked their vehicle like that would be giving a sharp reprimand, I'm sure. Anyway, let's get back to the... Uh, yeah, so they uh, took that mod out and the uh, interior sounds are great. isn't very heavy. I want to see if I can put up those uh, ah, the connected trailer is too heavy. This is only 20 some thousand pounds. That's crazy. It'd be really nice to be able to put up that uh, rear axle and get a little more maneuver maneuverability out of the trailer. After 100 yards, turn left. Because we're uh, a fairly adventurous route we're going on. Turn left. Oh well. Just have to be wary of oncoming traffic on these tighter corners. So I'll we'll try and do a little driving from outside where we can sneak a, sneak a peek around the corner. So as you can see, we got to take a fair bit of road left. here. This is going to take a little Turn bit of road here, too. We're well into that other lane. Here comes the car. The truck. So, yeah, we should be turning right up here, I would assume. Last time we went down this way, it was a total surprise to me. We went through Lytton, which they put in the map, and uh, really hoping to do that again. Have another look at it. There it is there, Lytton, 63. 63 kilometers. Have the uh, 
sound on the inside again. Good sound. I was debating really hard on putting the 8V92 in for this trip, but yeah, I thought this DD60 sounds so good, it's just hard to stay away from. car road wish it looked like this today after being burnt to the ground last year Welcome to Lytton. yeah this town was completely burnt right off the map in a fire the Lytton had the th uh, three record days in a row of uh, uh, well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit I guess uh, what was it uh, in Celsius, 48, and then two days at 49 something Celsius, which is incredibly hot. Uh, three days in a row, and then there were fires in the area, and wind uh, storm blew up with all that heat, and the town went just in minutes, it was gone. Here we're gonna hit the Trans Canada. I After 100 wait. yards, turn left. Turn left. Oh, darn! We went right last time. Okay. Well, it's number turn one left. anyway. So yeah, okay. This is cool. Something new. That was a pretty neat uh, route down to the uh, right last time. Was a step deck. Oh, look at all these guys coming. I wonder if we can coax one of them into letting us go. Yeah, that guy's gonna stop, isn't he? So, we haven't been on this road before up this way. Something new to see. I dropped the angle down a bit here so we catch some of the scenery. That'd be Litton back there, I guess. We'll turn off for the town. Just have a quick look at the map. Yeah, you can take that turn off into the town. That's a road to be traveled. I wonder if there's jobs in there. Keep right. So we're going to get off the, uh, the old Trans Canada right away. <laughs> oh, short lived. Let's see how far we go uh, before we recognize the road again. So Alzheimer's kicking in. That doesn't look familiar. Oh, 
well, maybe it'll come into Merritt from the west side of Merritt, where we uh, haven't been able to travel before. Doesn't look familiar yet. There's a lumber mill down there. The one here. This is the back side of this one, yeah. Dropped off. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So there was a barricade down there before. Okay. After that uh, rest area right there, you couldn't go any further before. All right, oh, there's a light. Cool, so that is where the new ends, and now we're on the uh, old Pro Mods Canada. Well, that's neat. Gonna have to uh, see if we can get loads, if there's anything in Lytton, that would be really cool. It's doing it again. There it goes. Didn't uh, the range, the, the uh, range uh, splitter didn't work. I wonder if this. Can, I gotta really look at this connection. Some pretty poor driving. Yeah, last time we came this way, we went straight through. Today we're going to turn right here. We went right on through and up that hill on the other side. single trailers uh, except for the um, the video we did the other day the B double load king uh, train hopper but the flat decks and step well I don't think you get a B double step deck but the flat decks are just single trailers oh, where's our little icon we got to pull up to this lane, I think. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it just popped into view. Checking brakes. It's worth making one of these a screenshot to see what it does. It usually buggers off pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, you don't get much of a chance. But, we're not getting stampeded out of here by other trucks today.
and our speed here going downhill. Try and set it there. See if it holds it. Yeah, it looks to be holding the speed. This lane ends. I'm jump back in and have a look. Our mirror. Whistling down here. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Ah, that's scary from outside going this fast. <laughs> ah, I'm just no good at it. I'm okay if we aren't going too fast, but I, uh, I tend to run the suspension a little soft and stuff. And then when I see it wobbling all over, it freaks me out. And then I don't keep turning into the corner. I kind of open up the steering and end up running wide thinking I'm going to roll a, a stupid truck over. You see the lean in it here. I hit the corner and get quite a bit of lean in the truck. on the uh, Cadillac front. I, uh, I got the um, transmission in this morning. And uh, so that's in. It's all bolted up, but I didn't get the cross member in. The speedo cable hooked up or the reverse switch. But uh, I had to go do stuff with one of my daughters this afternoon. But uh, hopefully tomorrow... I got a clear day at it. Get all that stuff bolted up and done and hooked up and get the drive shaft in and get all our all filled up with lube, lubricants, engine oil, tranny oil, coolant. And uh, get it out for a rip. We'll see how we do. quite a bit of time to uh, do the work on it and uh, that's just part, part of getting to be an old fart. You only got so much endurance. Now this road gets pretty adventurous.
just a reminder we're in Canada and that's kilometers an hour on those signs so 50 is you know we just say 30 that'd be 30 miles an hour and 80 this is 50 miles an hour still. Oh boy. I have to get around this Polara because uh, class, uh, jazzy classic cars, they tend to dawdle. That bus is hanging in there. the last time I got past my bus. It's been a while. Got lots of room on the inside for the trailer here, so I don't need to, shouldn't be frightening that bus too much. doing a video once, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, I come uh, howling around that corner and all of a sudden there's a brake check I hammer the binders and pull on in here and yeah, they would have need checking after after that crazy stop, that was pretty nuts that was kind of funny brake check, yeah well they worked pulling in here but I don't know if there's anything left Might experience a bit of brake fade. Oh, look at that. Marmon truck. Uh, conventional. site uh, rustic which would be deep grove I think if you're not using modified place names or businesses so that's that marmon up ahead of us there is a marmon truck mod out there uh, but I think it's it's blades I don't know
paddles a little better and they comes in a little tighter on the corners than I give it credit for. box trailer on a uh, triple flat deck I guess to take a photo. Take all. I'll, uh, let's see what happens if I just try and get one right here. Or turn in the corner. See what that looks like. Sorry, guy. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Sorry to be doing this on your time. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, that's not good. Oops. Just go like that. Zoom in a bit. Get her up. Take her down. Oh, wow. And up a little bit. And we'll just see if we can get a bit better light. How we change the sky. find something that would look good in a photo. It's kind of interesting, scary looking sky. And focus. Cool. Sorry about that. Thanks for humoring me, if you did. <laughs> what kind of low boy we got there? That's a drill modding? Or SCS? There's some drill modding ones uh, in the background that the loops. Oh, can't go a little further. All right, round the back. What do you think? Oh no, where's that? Oh, inside the little compound there. Yeah, park B doubles in this little thing a bunch of times, and man, it's a pain. Uh, was the hard parking on? I haven't done it lately, because uh, I was back when I was doing it a whole bunch to uh, try and get okay at it. Still only kind of mediocre at doing the B doubles. Uh oh, hang it 
out there a little long. I was just worried about this building. Yeah, darn it. Well, I'll take it back in here a little ways and then I'll fall forward. I want to get the front of the trailer over here. Where's that little sound break up again? I'm not sure what that's all about. <laughs> Can't pour all gears in this uh, ancient G25. Still doing the trick though. It's got to be, I don't know, when they came out. That's how old it is. I don't know, is that over 20 years or more? Been a good old wheel. Oops, excuse me. Well, oh, thanks for riding along, guys. Uh, stop the engine. That's what we gotta do. Let's have a quick peek on the fuel uh, burn here. 38.6. 282. Not bad. Only 8,000 bucks for all that. Hmm. Oh well, the uh, <laughs> the upside is we got to see some good scenery. Anyway, well thanks for following along, guys. As always, I appreciate uh, your subscriptions, and we're, I don't know how long it's going to take, but we're sneaking up on 500 <laughs> subscribers. So I guess in the uh, overall scheme of things, that's pretty good for a doofus like me. So I'm happy about it. And uh, thanks for subscribing if you haven't. Maybe consider it and give the video. Uh, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, uh, if you managed to make it through this far. Take care, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.